Hello everyone, I'm Paul and welcome to your Legion. Well, if you see the, the way that I'm dressed right now, it's because it's yard day. And usually on yard day I clean up the yard, mow the lawn, do everything like that, and do a few other things. Um, but the reason why I'm actually doing this video is because a lot of you have asked me to do a comparison video. A comparison video on the GTX 1080 versus the other cards. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright everyone, before I get started, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Andreas de Groot. And of course, you know, I'm outside, so there's, you know, the, of course the, the neighbor's dogs just decided to come out because they hear me about back here. But in any case, Andreas, listen man, uh, what you said was really hurtful to me. And the reason why it was more hurtful than anybody else is because I know you've been a longtime member of High Tech Legion and uh, you've been a subscriber on our YouTube channel for a long time. I think you misunderstood what my comment said. When I talked about no drivers, when I talk about drivers, I'm talking about drivers that are not beta drivers that are Wickle certified. And yes, you are correct. On the 12th, which I have and I downloaded, there was a beta driver non Wickle for the AMD products of the Crimson driver. But unfortunately, when the game was launched on the 13th, and of course I had it as soon as it came out, there were some issues with it. And then what they did was on Monday, the 16th, they actually put the actual driver out. So to me, that all that was was a band-aid so they could get away with doing something. When I talk about drivers coming out, I'm talking about certified Wickle drivers, not beta drivers, not drivers that are used for a band-aid. So again, I'm sorry if you misunderstood me, and hopefully, you know, if it's your choice that you unsubscribe, hopefully you will resubscribe and hopefully uh, you're watching this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the comparisons. So what I did was, for everyone, I went ahead and I compared the Titan X, I compared the 980 Ti, the 980, the AMD Fury, and also the 390X. So when you go down the stack, the two cards that we really want to look at because of the com competition, the 980 and the 390 were kind of pitted against each other when the 390 was launched. And then, of course, you have the 1080, which was, the pr it, I guess you could say it's the next card, the next generation to the 980, so we'll look at that. But the reason why I'm doing the Fury and I'm doing the Titan X and the 980 Ti is because in one generation, that's it, in one generation, what we had was we had such a jump in performance that this card, at the price that it was, totally eclipsed everything. So what I'll do is I'll let you guys go ahead, listen to some music, look at the benchmarks, look at at the performance increases between the different cards. Then we'll come back, I'll go over something, and then I'll let you guys go and go about your day.
right, everyone. Hope you had a, hopefully you had a chance to look at those. If you need to go back and look at everything, because I know there's a lot of information. I only gave you about 20 seconds for each slide. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we did. I took the 1080, compared it for 13 different games. Of course, I did some synthetics, which would be 3D Mark, Unigen, which is Heaven, and also Valley. And then, I, then we went ahead and we did games, which are Batman Arkham Knight, Thief, Tomb Raider, Far Cry 4, Witcher 3, Fallout 4, The Division, Project Cars, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Battlefield 4. Now, some of these have in-game benchmarks, and I'll tell you what I did. I ran about half with the in-game benchmarks, and the other half, what I did was I ran with fraps. So I kind of give, give a, a good idea on the difference in things, because now we got some semi-synthetics or synthetics. We've got some with in-game benchmarks, and then we have some that I actually do with fraps. And I think I got a B behind me or something like that. But in any case, when I do my benchmarks when I'm using fraps, what I do is I play the game to a certain point. Then I record it. After I record it, I watch it over so I could replicate whatever I do. So every time I go back and benchmark a video card, I know exactly what I'm going to do, what point to start at, what to finish, what start to fin what point to finish at, and I do it for 60 seconds. So I recreate the same scene each and every time. So there's no difference in variation. If I shoot this guy three times, I shoot a guy three times. If I walk to the left, I walk to the left. I do it methodically each time I play the game. Let's go ahead and look at the overall performance increase. As you know, this is overall. So what I did was I took all the percentages for each card. I went ahead and I added them all up, and then I divided by 13 to get my overalls. So, let's go and first look at the GTX 1080 versus the Titan X. We have a overall 30%. Now, I'm just going with whatever the percentage is. If it's 30.5, it's 30.7, 30.1, we're just saying 30%. We're not going to say it's 31.5. So, just, just go bear with me there. Now, over the AMD Fury, Overall was 45%. Now, the AMD Fury was built to compete with the 980 Ti. So now we've got a card that supposedly is going to start at $599. That's beating a card that right now I think is about $649, maybe $700 on the market right now, depending on who you're buying it from. Next up will be the 980 Ti. The 980 Ti had an overall 31% performance increase over... Uh, uh, um, the 1080 had an overall 31% performance increase. 980 Ti is a great card. It was probably the card a lot of you purchased, uh, you know, back about a year ago. So now we're talking about a new generation that kind of eclipsed the secondary flagship because sometimes I don't consider the Titan X the flagship. I would consider the Ti because the Ti is usually in a more affordable price point that most of us are going to buy. The Titan X, I guess you could say, is more of, I guess, a niche market. You know, if you're an extreme enthusiast and you want to spend the $1,000, go ahead and do it. But the 980 Ti was priced just right. Now, over the 980, we had an overall of 66%. Now, that's damn good in one generation. 66%. And this is actually the card that the 1080 is actually going the next generation. So, 66%. And then finally, when we look at the uh, 390X, we had a 78% inc total increase overall. Well, not much more I could say. All I could say is this. I want to say thank you, everyone, for watching. And I hope to see you the next time. But wait, there is more. It's yard day, as I said, but some of you have asked me what I do with hardware that I don't need anymore, so I'm going to show you.
Let me get out of the way of this. You know something? I didn't like that. Now that's a fire! Guys, just make sure you don't do this at home. And for safety, always make sure that you have a charged line just in case something does go awry. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.